Ever since Cape Town was established by the Dutch in the 1600s, it has struggled to keep up with the demand of shipping wishing to call at the port. The Victoria and Alfred basins designed at the end of the 1800s soon became overwhelmed and a new solution was called for. Ultimately, the way forward was to embark on an ambitious land reclamation project that would add about 200 hectares of land to the city by pushing the shoreline out by a mile and creating a series of deep water basins in the space beyond for shipping protected by massive new breakwaters. The project was carried out by a flotilla of around 35 Dutch vessels, including rock breakers, dredgers, tugs and cranes. The area to be reclaimed was dammed and filled in over time, and the water pumped out. The work was not easy, especially during the winters where the Cape of Storms lived up to its name. Initially, the project was scheduled to be completed in 1945, but due to the war, it was delayed until the opening ceremony was held in 1952. The landward side was to be used for commerce and industry, and to seaward a large basin constructed named Duncan Dock after the Governor-General. Once the main roads were laid out, extensive port facilities were built, as well as the Kulemburg railway complex. Initially, the development was fairly sparse, mainly dominated by parking lots. Over time, new buildings were built and the area filled in with new construction. The final extension of the port saw the construction of the main container terminal for the city. These days, the port sees around three to 4,000 ships per year and is the key export hub for South Africa's wine industry.